Picture this, a calm, serene figure draped in flowing robes lying peacefully on what looks like a medieval torture device, a bed of nails. It's a sight that makes you wince just by thinking about it. How do they do it? Is it some kind of mystical power? A secret that has been passed down through generations of fakirs and ascetics? The truth is a lot less mystical and a lot more scientific. It's not just about mind over matter, though that certainly helps, but also about understanding a critical, fundamental idea in physics, pressure and how to spread it out. Today, we are going to reveal the not-so-hidden secret behind the famous bed of nails and show you that a fakir's wisdom is as much about physics as it is about philosophy. Stick around and we'll nail down the answers. Fun totally intended. Welcome to The Scribbled Equation. I am Dr. Ashmeet Singh. I'm a physics professor with a PhD in theoretical physics and I'm here to show you how physics and math are lurking in every corner of our lives. How wondrous and intriguing our universe is. All this by just scribbling a few equations. So how many nails does it take to turn pain into peace? What's the magic number that keeps you from becoming a human pincushion? Is it more like 10 or 10,000? The secret all comes down to pressure. Pressure is the force applied per unit area. If you just have a few nails, your entire body weight will get focused on just these few points and that can end up hurting a lot. Ow! But if you increase the number of nails, that same body weight is now spread out, reducing the pressure per nail. This makes it a lot more comfortable, relatively speaking of course. But we also want to remember the Fakir's teaching about minimalism. So not overdoing it would also be a good idea. We want to find the optimal number of nails, not less and not too much more. While I'm not ascetic enough to lay on an actual bed of nails, we've put together this little experiment to help me estimate the optimal number of nails needed for a good night's sleep. I have so calibrated this that if I were to hang a 1 kg mass on this force sensor, the force would read its weight, mass times acceleration due to gravity, about 9.8 newtons, as you can see on the graph around here. Here, I've modified our beloved force sensor by attaching this nail to it. So we can basically find out the force that this nail applies once it presses into an object. Let's figure out the force a single nail can apply to my body before it starts becoming uncomfortable. Now, as I press my skin harder into the nail to emulate being on the bed of nails, let's see. As I go harder, the force increases and I would say somewhere around here is where it becomes uncomfortable. I would say around my pain threshold, about one Newton or so. But then again, I rather not sleep at my pain threshold throughout the night. I rather be more comfortable. So let's see, as I increase the force again, I would say anywhere beyond the 0.1 Newton zone, I can start to feel it. And it's definitely in the ouch zone. So I would say our target is about 0.1 Newton per nail. Now, let's do some quick math. Let's say the average Fakir has a mass of about 70 kilograms. Which means the force of gravity, essentially their weight, is about m times g, about 700 newtons worth of gravitational force that the Earth is pulling them by. To keep the force on each nail at about 0.1 newtons or less, we would need to spread that 700 newtons of gravitational force, the weight of the Fakir, over many nails where each nail 
can take about 0.1 newtons worth of force, giving us to have at least 7,000 nails, if not more. Now that's a lot of nails, but that's what keeps them from getting poked and prodded too much at night. So how far apart should you place the nails? The average human body has a surface area of about 1.5 meters square. If we uniformly distribute all those 7,000 nails over this surface area, we would get roughly an area where each nail is spaced about 1.5 centimeters away from each other. There you have it. This setup makes it possible to lay down comfortably, I mean as comfortably as possible, on a bed of nails. And remember, do not try to roll over. Redistributing the pressure will require redoing the calculation. But before you rush off to try this at home, remember, the physics explains the how, but it's wisdom to know when to leave it to the pros. So I say, let's just call this a cool story and not a weekend DIY project. So there you have it. The secret behind the bed of nails isn't just spiritual, it's also scientific. By spreading the force over thousands of nails, a fakir turns something that seems absolutely terrifying into a fascinating demonstration of physics. True strength isn't always about enduring the pain, but knowing how to spread the weight. Master the science and you'll master the challenge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.